Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, you know, but the timing is fluid, so, you know, it is. I mean, the timing is fluid. This could happen the next couple of days, could be happening right now, could be happening next week, whatever. This is a message that, or a energy, that, a message or an energy that I am picking up on to deliver right now for, you know, the near future. So, Let's see what we got. You want to check out your weekly reading. I did the weekly readings for you and another person. You can find that in a playlist that I have. So what do we have for a message today? Huh. Ten of Swords. Now, Ten of Swords reversed is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Right? It is. This is freedom. It's liberation. It's the end of a painful situation in some sort of manner. Okay? Something is coming to an end. It's been painful. Woo! World reverse. Now this, in the past, somebody has been reluctant to let go. This is lack of closure. Right? This is staying in the present. Stuck in the present. Not focusing in, on the future. Somebody hasn't had any success presently. They're presently not in a successful situation. And it definitely needs to end. Those are both ending cards. They're both reversed. Somebody's been resisting it. They've been resisting uh, letting go. Okay? They've been resisting their new life. They've been resisting. So, but what you resist persists. So there's lack of closure. There's lack of completion. There's lack of success. Somebody has needed an attitude adjustment. They've needed to focus on the future, but they haven't been able to. They've been focusing on the pain. That guy goes by all the time. Anyhow, they've been focusing on the pain, you know, the hurt that it has caused. So somebody's really been suffering, holding on to something that is already over. It's already done. But they haven't learned their lesson yet. They haven't learned that sometimes things, they end for a reason, you know. When, when that cycle is over, it's over. So anyway, we have somebody here that has been stay, staying in the present. They haven't been able to get past the pain that they have experienced. Ooh, but now there's some sort of self-love. Right? There is some sort of self-love. There's some sort of needing to take care of yourself. This is freedom. It's liberation from a dead end. And this is self-love. This is looking for love. So this is like, I want to be loved. So I think we have somebody here that is now looking for love. You know, she's got one cup in her hand. There's a cup right here. So somebody is definitely looking for a partnership. Or they're becoming emotionally available after they've been stuck they've been stuck this is leaving behind a painful situation it really is Ooh. so the tower so the tower is a fated event it's a major dis disturbance it's false pretense. It's a false foundation crashing down. It's seeing the light. It's light being shed on a false sense of security. So I do believe that there's some sort of event. Okay, this is a faded event that breaks somebody free of a situation. So what is this event? What is this event? This is some sort of... Uh, could be a fight. Could be... A, could be um, well, whatever it is, it may be scary. It could definitely be scary. This is, this is a, it could be, you know, usually when somebody gets scared really, really bad, that could be the straw that makes the skip, that breaks the camel's back. Somebody's probably going to get a really good scare or they're going to get some sort of uh, rude awakening because the tower is a rude awakening. They're going to see something clearly because the universe is going to force them. This is, that's universal force. So this is some sort of forced change. It's a necessary evil. It's time to build a new foundation because holding on to this 
false sense of security that isn't stable, that <laughs> isn't secure, that uh, maybe looks good, isn't gonna last. It's in a, it's a this is, feels like it's a dangerous situation. It really does. It feels like somebody has built a foundation in a dangerous place. You know, it's, it doesn't look like it's a good place to be. Okay, somebody has, has definitely built something up where there's just too much um, chance for disaster, you know? It's, it's, evi it's, it's evident that it's gonna happen, you know? And it's been, it's been imminent, right? It's, it's been coming for a long time. Somebody was chancing it. It's like they were taking a chance, you know, maybe this will last, maybe this will last. But, you know, it's not gonna last. The universe is forcing somebody to move on. That's what that is. They're forcing somebody to go to a better place where there's where there's safety, where there's um, stable ground, where there's no chance for disaster. You know, where there's there's light. Somebody's been in a place where there's a lot of darkness. You know, and seclusion as well. So I think there's been a lot of seclusion there. But it's definitely coming to an end because this is freedom. So it is. It's definitely liberation and freedom. Somebody's about to see something very, very clearly because there's going to be uh, some sort of event that really um, forces them to see. Unexpected choice in love. There may be a new lover here. Somebody definitely looking for a union. They want to be loved. You know, they're looking for balance and harmony and tender love and care. I mean, this is a card of making a choice, and a choice is definitely being made. Somebody is making a choice after they have you know, been resisting. They've totally been resisting. And this, okay, this is a major universe card, and this is a major universe card. In my deck, so how I see it, and I don't care what anybody else says, I consider the world and the tower the two major universe cards. Somebody, this is the universe saying, you must build a foundation that is strong. You cannot live in this false sense of security. It isn't stable. Some, and this is a universe card. Somebody's been resisting it. They've been resisting, you know, moving on from something that is already done. You know, they've, they haven't learned their lesson. And I feel like their lesson, because this is a lesson that needs to be learned upright, the lesson has been learned about self-love or about love, period. You know, and, and, and you know, self-love comes first and then real love comes next. I mean, love from a lover, love from a partner, for, love for, comes next. So because somebody reacts with self-love and turns their back on a painful situation that has been built on false pretenses, there's an unexpected opportunity for love. Okay, there absolutely is. So this is also a card of uh, consequences. Okay, so somebody has been stagnant, okay, because of their suffering. Um, but this is a wake up call of some sort. There's going to be a major uh, disturbance. Something's about to crumble really, really fast. The foundation that was built on false pretenses is going to crumble just like that. It's very sudden, it happens all of a sudden. A sudden change is coming and this is unexpected this is an unexpected opportunity we may have somebody that unexpectedly gets you know connects with somebody new you know or they have these unexpected feelings maybe they've been avoiding their feelings you know something is happening something is happening where there's because this is feelings Somebody may be feeling that they are in a false sense of security. They have another option that is better suited for them, but they're in a situation that hasn't ended yet. And I know that that's another story, but this is lack of closure. Something may not, there could be some unfinished business with the past, but I do feel like we have somebody here and they may think that there's unfinished business with the past. We get people that be like, well, I didn't get any closure. You got closure the minute somebody walked away. The minute they stopped communicating. 
the minute they got in bed with somebody else, that's when you got closure. But we get people to make excuses and they wallow in their pain instead of accepting and allowing that something is over. This is wallowing in pain. Not accepting that it's over. And that's where somebody has been. But now maybe their intuition, you know, has told them something or they have received some sort of shocking news or something that is waking them up. Anyhow, there is an unexpected opportunity for love here, but there will be a choice that needs to be made because a lover's is a choice and this is a major choice. So somebody is definitely making a major choice in regards to love. Page of Wands. Now the Page of Wands is good news. An offer or an invite is coming for, with somebody that is very well suited. It's interesting that I said that with this card. There is there's a good suitor here. This is this is a new suitor or it's a new opportunity that is very, very exciting. Okay, this is good news arriving. This is somebody that is courageous. That doesn't have any fear that is entering. This person is entering. Now this page of wands is somebody that is very, very feisty. This person may be causing the tower moment, maybe waking somebody up, you know, and it doesn't matter what sign it is, whoever this person is, they are very confident. They're very determined. Um, and it feels like they're, they're, they've got their eye on something. Somebody has their eye on something. And, it, and they're passionate. This is passionate. So we have somebody here that is going to be making an offer or an invite to an individual. Okay? It's very unexpected. It is. We have unexpected here and unexpected here. And whoever the individual is, it could be a male or a female, this male or female is going to be shocked. They are going to be shocked over the offer or invite, and they're really going to be in their feelings. And they're going to have to make a choice as to whether they're ready to leave the past behind, they're ready to stop focusing on the pain of the past, whether they're ready to start their new journey or not, because they're going to be getting an offer that could present them an opportunity to build a new foundation. So anyway, there, anyhow, this Queen of Cups is going to, and it's a male or a female, that is going to be in their emotions, going to need to use their intuition. Somebody's going to need to use their intuition and not focus on what wasn't successful because there's been a lack of success in the past. And if it didn't work out in the past, it didn't work out for a reason, Okay. Maybe, maybe we have one person here that needs to be confident. They need to find their determination. They need to find their willpower to see it for what it is. I mean, this could be one person that's taking on both of these energies. Somebody needs to follow their intuition and this is a visionary, you know, and take a new direction and see that they are involved in a false sense of security. So we have somebody here that may be seeing something after they get some sort of rude awakening. Okay. Um, hmm. I do believe somebody is going to be opening their heart. Okay. There is some sort of I feel like there's heartfelt communication that is coming or heartfelt news that is coming from a potential lover or a potential partner. Could be a partner. Huh. Ace of Wands, new partner, new sexual partner, somebody that wants to take a new a new direction. It's a definitely a very fertile time. Somebody may be feeling a spark, okay? There could be sparks flying all of a sudden. There could be. This could be all of a sudden sparks that are flying. This could be a new flame, okay? This is a, um, a sudden desire as well. Somebody's getting this sudden desire 
for love. I'm telling you what, they are. It happens definitely sudden. We have sudden here and sudden here. So this is definitely all of a sudden. And, it, and it's like, I'm going to go for it. This is like, in, 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 anyway, look at that. That's the stairs that lead to the lover. So somebody is going to be, it feels like, headed right towards a lover. They're going to have a strong attraction. There's going to be a strong attraction, or there is a strong attraction. Somebody's going to be getting an offer or an invite or a message from somebody. And it's absolutely going to shock them. And this could be somebody brand new. This could be a new sexual partner. It doesn't, you know, this is letting go of the past. We definitely have somebody coming in and they are coming in very, very fast. This is somebody that is very passionate, very confident, and they are determined. This is somebody that is very much determined. They are determined to get what they want. And they are uh, very, very, uh, well, what's the word for it? They have some desires that need to be met, put it that way. Okay? So, it's a, we definitely have a very sexual energy here. So, we definitely have somebody here that has a strong attraction to somebody. And they are going to be making a move. This is definitely shocking. Okay? Um... And that's what I got. Good luck.